Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at a limit where the limit approaches a horizontal line, therefore it approaches a horizontal asymptote. And typically you get a situation like that when the x approaches infinity or negative infinity. So in this case, where the function is x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1, when we take the limit as x approaches infinity, we claim that will then approach 1. So the condition is, as x approaches infinity or as x approaches negative infinity, the function will approach a number, a constant number or a horizontal line, therefore a horizontal asymptote. All right, how do we prove that? Well, one way to show that is, to, again, to use a table of values. Let, uh, let's plug in some values for x, and let's then plug in some values for the function of x. And so what does that look like? Well, let's say when x equals 10. When x equals 10, we get 99 divided by 101. So 99 divided by 101 is equal to 0 0.98. Okay, when x becomes 100, now we get 10,000 minus 1, that's 99.99, divided by 10,001, and so now we get the value of 0 0.9998. And it certainly seems to be true that as x becomes a very large number, the function seems to approach 1. How about 1,000? When x becomes 1,000, we get 1,000 squared minus 1, divided by 1,000 squared plus 1. And notice, well, my calculator shows it as being equal to 1 because there's not enough significant figures, so it'll be approximately equal to 1. So you can see that this function does approach the limit of 1 as x approaches infinity. Likewise, as x approaches negative infinity, since x is squared in the numerator and x is squared in the denominator, we would get the same result. If we were to grab that function, it looks something like this. Notice as x goes to 0, the, the function becomes negative 1. So we have negative 1 right here when it's 0. And um, when x is equal to 1 or negative 1, the function is 0. So it's 0 at 1 or negative 1. And then we have an asymptote line at y equals 1, so this is y equals 1, so you can see that the function looks kind of like this, one side, and like this on the other side. Notice as x becomes very large in the positive direction, or very large in the negative direction, the function approaches y equals 1, and so therefore we have these horizontal asymptotes. So that usually happens in terms of x becoming very large or a negative very large number and that's how it's done.